uh, you won't mind this cabin cast on this Thursday night. Let's take a look at it. We do expect that the only little wrinkle in the uh, forecast on Saturday is that in the morning, there could be a couple of spotty thunderstorms that develop in South Dakota overnight tomorrow night, and they could affect Glenwood, Cottonwood, Spicer, and Waterville early in the morning, and then out of there by lunchtime. Otherwise, here are your temperatures. A tad cool up north, no question there, 71 in Tower and 71 in Spooner. Now on Sunday, it is going to be a little bit more humid, and the temperatures are going to be a tad warmer, and it will not be a washout, but there will be some thunderstorms around on Sunday, and that's your cabin cast. If you want to sh uh, go ahead and uh, uh, take that cabin cast and share it and look at it again, it'll be on the Facebook page right after the show, the Care Facebook page and my, mine as well. Let's take a look at the numbers for today and show you what's happening across the region. We did top out at 75 degrees, which is, by the way, 7 degrees cooler than average, but in Mankato, only 68. The reason? Clouds and showers really pretty persistent off and on throughout the day. They were light showers, but with the clouds and showers, it did stay cooler off to our west from Wilmer all the way down through Mankato up to the north. Just sunshine, but cool temperatures. No question there. A lot like September. And then Brainerd had a pretty decent day at 74. A mix of sun and clouds here. Rice Lake as well. And also in St. Cloud. So here it is. 82 is the norm. 75 the current temperature. And for the first week of August, we're sitting at 3 degrees below average. We've hit 80 three times out of 7. But when it comes to that average temperature, we're sitting just below 70 degrees for uh, a temperature for the month, both to highs and lows averaged out. No precipitation today officially at the airport, but a couple spots did have a few sprinkles. So that trough that did cause that sprinkle activity is now moving off, and we have an absolutely spectacular Friday on tap. We are going to have high pressure dominating the forecast a north breeze, low dew points, and plenty of sunshine. We'll lay the forecast out for you. Tomorrow we're expecting 76 degrees. We'll start out at 58. Those winds will be a bit on the breezy side in the afternoon, northwest 5 to 10. Saturday, we'll have a few more clouds around, mainly in the first half of the day, just because of that system in South Dakota. And then in the afternoon and evening hours, we will have partly cloudy skies, pretty darn nice, 77 degrees. And then a few spotty thunderstorms timing-wise. It does look like mid-afternoon, through the early evening hours. Bottom line, it'll be 78 degrees. We're back in the 80s next week. We'll show you that in a moment. Tonight, 56 to 61 degrees with those evening spotty showers. A few of them left over. Most of those moving to the east. We will clear out. Then for your Friday, 76 degrees and lots of sunshine tomorrow. So it's looking like a fabulous day, even though it's a tad below average. Here are the daytime highs for your Friday. 71 in Ely, 73 in Mankato, and 76 degrees here in the Twin Cities. Then after we get done with those storms on, sa on Sunday, those scattered storms that do roll through, look at next week. It is looking quite nice. In fact, 80, 81, 78. And as I looked out past Thursday, temperatures do look like they will stay in the upper 70s, low 80s. And by the time we get to next week, that will be the average high. So no 90s, no oppressive humidity, just uh, very bearable and lots of sunshine tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a good one. So there's that forecast. I said this to you once, but there's a lot of high school football coaches and players who are yep. applauding your forecast next week as they start yeah, football. Yeah, because two a days, right? Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, thank you, Belle. All right. Speaking of that, next in sports, the last major of the pro golf season teed off today. And the Minnesota Lynx winning streak in jeopardy at the Target Center. We'll have the highlights Six next. Three. And Cabin Cast is brought to you by Physicians Neck and Back Clinics. It's time to resume activity. Don't let back pain keep you from enjoying your life. Call Physicians Neck and Back Clinics, six convenient metro locations offering programs to relieve pain and take control of your life. Our nationally recognized approach to neck and back pain is non-surgical and has one goal, to return you to normal activities as quickly as possible. Contact Physicians Neck and Back Clinics today and resume activity.